Հանդրեսը։ Ես արիս, նատոշի կածևրիան է բարիս, կարտոլի խալխիս արջևանի, դա չյոն արդ մոխարոլիրով մաս խարս ուջերս շիլու ատտանդիկ որի ալիանցի, ռոմ էլի չյենի մեկոբարի կաղնավիսկան շետ գեպա։ Հատո դա սակարտո� Սա չույն իմեց կամոտ կավտրոն պրակտիկ ուլի թանոշոլուբա մալ է չիտրո ինտեգրացիաշի հատայի սրտեպա։ Նատո Սապլամիտո ասապլի իսխեմ ձղան ուլուբաստան չույն դղես կանույ խիլը ծակարտվուլոսադա � Սյուն արդ մոխարուլի, հրոմ Սապալամիտո ասամբլի եսկեմ ձգոն ուլովա, ասէ դիտ նիշլով ուլովա սանի ճեպս Սակարդվուլոստան ուրդի էրտոպաս։ Մեմ մի դա գիտավորդխոլ մոգիլոցոտ, դամո and uh, it's very significant that this happens uh, in the celebration of your independence and uh, one day after the a very important meeting in Brussels of the heads of sta state and government of NATO countries yesterday. Uh, it was a meeting which uh, again stressed the importance of the transatlantic relationship. And now NATO and NATO Parliamentary Assembly are here to uh, demonstrate the full support to Georgia, the full commitment to support Georgian reforms and Georgian uh, Euro-Atlantic aspiration. We recognize the great effort uh, Georgia has done in the past years and, and the great cont contribution Georgia is giving to global security, particularly in the international mission in Afghanistan with the high contribution of uh, soldiers, but uh, more and more we understand that uh, the security and stability of Georgia is crucial for the stability of the entire region. And the stability in this region is crucial for all the Western countries as well. So for us, defending and supporting Georgia and Georgia's territorial integrity is also defending and supporting our countries and our alliance. This is the reason why we decided to come here. It is not usual that uh, the NATO Parliamentary Assembly sessions are made in non-NATO countries. It is only the fifth time which happens in the history. And uh, this is another way to um, say how committed we are with Georgia and Georgia reform process. Uh, we know we, you are discussing uh, a lot of uh, internal issues like constitutional reforms and this is important for your country because things are changing in a changing world. Uh, new players are coming to the horizon like China, like uh, Iran or other countries. And uh, again, the position of Georgia in this geopolitical environment becomes more and more important. And again, I. Uh, say that uh, we are fully supporting your your Atlantic aspirations and this presence here today is a demonstration of that. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Hobbs. Yes. Uh, well, I just... <laughs> we're going to die of politeness here. Um, I'd just like to say, echo some of the sentiments already expressed by the Speaker and by the President. Uh, it's 15 years since the NATO Parliamentary Assembly held a session in a non-member country and I think it was, it's extraordinarily welcome that this session is taking place in Georgia. It's a magnificent way 
for the NATO Parliamentary Assembly to express its solid support for Georgia's aspirations to Euro-Atlantic integration. And we bring 48 delegations uh, to this country. Many of the participants might not have had the opportunity to see Georgia before, and so it's a wonderful place to showcase uh, your wonderful country. So we're very happy to be here. I'm very much looking forward to uh, three, three days of uh, extremely high-level, fascinating meetings at a crucial time for our alliance. So thank you very much. Uh, James Sapatro is it Robia, Roman with me, Italian Montos, the Sishem Trovaroza, Meti Nato Sakartolosh. May Mues Almabi, Nato Sabalament to Assemblies, Twilish Shatarebas, the Colas Madlobasu, Tivinsky, Munatilova Miro, Amrat or Levis Mirebashi, as ever at Homer Gilts out Sakartos Damo with the Lobis Press, Marflats Tulios de Exit Elegan, Gaira, Chen Makaranam, Tumsa, Chen Dressway, Sia Marichevilla. From train, not just an ordinary tobacco. Quite interesting. I am glad to have the opportunity to be able to share with you. Train, very ambitious. Not just can the very successful Mushaf. Tumsa, as if I am to have a lot of train schedule. I got to have a lot of as if I was training. I am not sure if you are going to be able to do it. I am going to be able to do it. I am going to be able the Parliament of Assemblies visits the capital of Georgia. That comes with a lot of resources. To show you the basic itravi. Sakartolo says that the Prime Minister of Belarus, Maria Tsarilashvili, Assembly's President Anne Mekhnebashek, it was, but on the President, not the Parliament or Assembly, would be what came out of the hard cheras. Sakartolo Smimart, as if he would have documented the situation, had the baby, his mother was on the baby, the other alliance is every quarter, and Bismarck Tower, but Bismarck Tom Sakartolo Swiss, me and each binet map, it's a Robi Samok Medog, Marogor Twitty, his mother on the baby, it's a Robi in declaration, she's from the Assembly, me reps or. شابات پلین روز ختم مزه رگور پیک رو بذی که دنگام مم دیناره رو ما اسامبلی اسکاد تقویت لب بس اکثر رکومنداتی و خاصیتی رگور پیک رو بذی که ایزیا رو بس تو آرا تا و دالیانسی ایام رکومنداتی از ساکارتوسیس اورو بیس امکان می‌ده که گمیس می‌نیم چه باستان دکاوشی نمی‌ده. Well, first of all, I want to express the consideration that Georgia is one of the two countries. With which we have a special relationship because we have a special Georgian NATO Interparliamentary Council. The other one is with Ukraine. So there is particular status in the relationships between NATO Parliamentary Assembly and, and Georgia, also formally. And we meet uh, often with uh, this council and we have the chance to discuss specific issues regarding Georgia. Uh, the resolution uh, which we are working on and w which will be approved in the final session wants to be uh, another way to formally stress that NATO Parliamentary Assembly is strongly supporting Georgia as we have done for all the time all in, in all this, the past years. And um, I think that th this resolution will be, how to say, strongly considered by NATO, because we have a strong relationship. NATO Parliamentary Assembly is not NATO. It's a political and parliamentarian organization on the side of NATO. But the relationship between NATO and NATO Parliamentary Assembly is very strong, and our recommendations are always strongly considered by NATO. So I think that our resolution will be very important also for NATO to uh, speed up of the process. So, for Zurabiani, Rustaviti, Russia and the Black Sea security is on the agenda during the session. That's why I'm asking, how do you evaluate the situation here in Georgia and in the region? I mean, security situation. And uh, the second question, your political organization, that's why I'm asking. 
uh, MEP is uh, becoming more political instrument than technical now. And do you see any possibility for Georgia to become the member of NATO in future without MEP? Well, first of all, uh, NATO and NATO Parliamentary Assembly are strongly committed, and are, we think that, NATO, that Georgia will become member of NATO. This is uh, said, clearly said in Bucharest in 2008, and this remains. Regarding the situation in the region, we discussed the, with the chairman before the threats coming from the Russian aggressive behavior. We fully support the uh, uh, territorial integrity of Georgia, as well as Ukraine, the same, very similar situation, much different from the military point of view, but, and uh, I think that uh, the, the instability in the region, as I was telling before, is a, a threat for all the Western countries, so we are strongly committed to, to say that we are uh, reaffirming uh, our support and that uh, the Russian Federation must be very careful in making uh, increasing tensions because that is not good for the international uh, environment. We have common threats to, to, to face like the terrorism and uh, we hope that uh, the Russian Federation will understand that they must not be so aggressive but that's their, their point, and we are very strong in opposing this aggressiveness. What about MAP? <laughs> well, MAP, of course, is an instrument. The, the problem is uh, the political vision of what is happening, and uh, MAP would be, the, how to say, the, the concrete way to, to start a, a process, but we see with other countries, map is on the, under discussion. I think that the, Georgia, the situation of Georgia is in any case very good in the perspective of your Atlantic integration. Then we, we see the map is a decision of NATO, but of course we will discuss with them about that. Thank you. the Information Agency Interpress News. I have a question for Mr. Paolo Ali. Uh, in your message before the NATO Parliamentary Assembly, uh, you said that Georgia has made impressive progress in moving toward the NATO membership and that Georgia has undergone a truly remarkable evolution. But at the same time, you highlighted that there is still room for improvements. Could you please specify those critical areas where Georgia should make improvements? And let's make your answer more specific. Just name three critical areas where Georgia should make improvements, and what are the drawbacks of these critical areas? Thank you very much. Well, there is always uh, something more to do. And uh, I think that Georgia has made impressive pro progress in the process of uh, democratization of the country. Probably there is still something to do. You are undergoing also uh, important reforms like judiciary reforms. And we observe very carefully what uh, is being done. Uh, we are not criticizing Georgia. We are just saying that uh, those processes take a long time. And Georgia is still going on in a positive way. So our opinion is positive regarding what Georgia is doing. And then uh, also the, um, we know that uh, you are um, fully committed to respect the, the, the Venice Commission uh, uh, decisions and uh, recommendations. So we think you are on the right way. Of course, there is still room for improvements. So, <laughs> We always speak uh, uh, about uh, Russia in our assembly, not only in NATO, but also in NATO Parliamentary Assembly. 
We know that uh, propaganda is a key issue because uh, the Russian Federation is using propaganda very strongly, not only in this region, but also in the Western Balkans, in Ukraine, and in other countries like uh, Moldova and so on. Um, NATO uh, is doing a lot in the field of cybersecurity, and uh, this is also a, another delicate issue. Regarding propaganda, we are we know that there is a lot of influence by the Russian Federation, also in the European parliaments. And uh, uh, the, uh, the European Parliament approved the resolution against uh, propaganda and against funding by Russia to European parties. So we know quite well the situation. Uh, propaganda is influencing probably more the countries which are closer to Russia. It's a common threat. Uh, I think you are well aware about that, uh, and the NATO and NATO Parliamentary Assembly partic particularly uh, are uh, all the time discussing these issues. And in our parliaments, in, in the parliaments of NATO member countries and NATO partners uh, and observers, this is an issue which can, how to say, uh, must be taken into account and discussed also at national level, because everybody must be conscious that. Uh, uh, the hybrid threat, is, uh, hybrid warfare is not only military aggression now, but it means propaganda, it means cyber attacks, uh, it means many things. So we are discussing, it, 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 it's one of the points of the general issue of hybrid warfare. Okay, thank you.